Read with me. Let's go. It's story time with Miss Cece. The Most Haunted House in America, written by Jarrett Dapier, illustrated by Lee Gatlin. It was late October. The moon was pale. Late in October when it came by mail. A letter, a missive, a kind invitation to drum at the most haunted house in the nation. The invitation reads, the First Lady of the United States of America requests the musical services of the Skeleton Drummers at a Halloween celebration on October 31st at the White House, North Lawn, 1600 Pennsylvania Ave, Washington, D.C., 20500. Be there or be scared. The White House, the White House, you've heard of the place. The first couple's home, the president's base. But there's one more thing you might not know. The White House is haunted from top to toe. Haunted. We're a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, but the skeleton drummers are always prepared. So come along, join us as we make our way to America's capital where we'll play. We rise from the earth and we clack our bones. Climb onto the cart and tap double stroke tones. A drum rig contraption of metal and tin, perfectly built for a Halloween din. <laughs> we skeletons boom, we skeletons bang. Break drums and cymbals and metal go clang. We blast beats on buckets and one big old gong. Children in costumes are drawn to our song. Wizards and witches and robots and more line up the drive and step up to the door. <laughs> Thousands of children, their dads and their moms, dance to the beat as we thrash on the toms. Ghost notes a rim click, then rat a cue. Our bass drum makes thunder, a hula baloo. The first couple grins as kids hoist their sacks, dropping in cookies and candies and snacks. Happy Halloween! <laughs> A clink and a shake in the dim, haunted gloom, we skeletons rock the president's home. Thousand pound pumpkins aglow in the gloom, we howl as we drum a soundtrack of doom. <coughs> then when the trick-or-treating is through, the first couple leads our skeleton crew into the house where the dream party moves to celebrate more to the sound of our grooves. But inside the doors, something's not right. A chill in the air and a prickle of fright. Grab hold of our band. Our sticks start to shake. Our bones start to shudder, then rattle and quake. We march and we tramp. We strike at our snares. We're lured by the soft, ghostly music upstairs. We enter a red room, swarming with souls. They shimmer and sway to our haunted drum rolls. They twirl and they waltz. They float and they flip. The lights all go dark. Our grip starts to slip. Two snakes slither by. Let's hope they don't bite. We back slowly out and keep out of sight. Back in the hall and more spirits arrive. They step out of paintings like something alive. 
Abe Lincoln appears in his stovepipe hat, scratching the chin of a giant-sized cat. A knock at the door rings in the wings. A one-legged rooster hops in and sings. Beware of this place. You shouldn't have come. A barn owl swoops. Its wings beat a thrum. A knock again at the door down below. We drum and pretend it's just part of the show. We're not scared a bit. That raccoon's a fake. Everything's fine. Try some of the cake. <coughs> a violin shrieks. In the attic above, we trip and we bump and we turn and we shove. We knock our thick skulls, we sprint and we fall. And we hit a dead end, the terror ball. <coughs> the dead and the living together at last. Figures appear right out of the past. Abigail Adams, Abe Lincoln's son. A freak called the thing, everyone run. We flee through the gates, out into the dark. With howls and yelps, we stomp through the park. We haunt the mall with our rhythms all night. Skeleton drummers, a melee of fright. <laughs> we creatures all revel and drum till the dawn. Then wearily creep back into the lawn, climbing deep underground for a whole year to rest. Thank you, First Lady. This night was the best. <laughs>